I really like how it's independent and self-paced. So if I wanted, I could move ahead in math or science or whatever I wanted to learn. And we could learn things that we are interested in learning and not just things that the teachers want us to learn. It's cool to see how, no matter your age, all the kids at all different ages can be wherever they want to be learning so that they can be like three years ahead of their grade. I don't have to work at the third grade level everybody else is working at. I can go above and beyond what all my old school teachers would have expected from me or anybody else. I love helping the little kids, like it's so much fun. And I have friends of all different ages. And actually a lot of the times, the younger kids will teach us stuff instead of like swear for stuff. So that's like also something really nice about having a mixed stage learning. Everyone can be a teacher and everyone can learn from each other and not only the teacher can teach so then people have a chance to like teach people how to do things and sort of be the leader. And what it does is it creates a prism and you'll see later but it reflects the light from the four images that we have over here. It's like the teachers are part of the community and they're just advisors, more like coaches rather than teachers. Minus 1.5. Now 0 0.8 minus 0 0.26. Or minus 0 0.8. I think students here are really self-motivated because nobody's telling them what to do. And when people tell you what to do, you don't want to do it. So now that they have the power, they empower themselves to learn more. And everybody is just so friendly and um, very creative, independent, and smart. Um, and I think with all of these people around, it helps build uh, everybody else. One of the things I'm looking forward to this year is meeting some new kids and um, learning a little bit more than I did last year and just inviting some other kids to be part of this educational revolution.